Good morning. Literally this time, it's literally good morning. Um, so I'm on my way to church. We have a baby shower to set up for in two hours. I'm actually running a little late, but I would not be me if I was not running a little late, let's be honest. I went to yard sales this morning, um, and I got a couple good things. Not really like a ton of stuff, but I got some Nerf guns. I don't know what they're worth, but I got like a bag of them for 10 bucks. So I mean, I figure that's a no-brainer. Um, and I got a calculator, it's TI-84, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna give it to Trevor because I think that's the kind that he needs for this year for school anyway. So I'm gonna check into that and give it to him if he needs it. Um, Cause I got, I got it for 20 bucks and they're usually like close to 100 new um, and get them for like anywhere from 40 to 60 shipped on eBay used. And I got some clothes for Gianna. Um, I always pick up like little shirts and pants and stuff when I see them for her because she is so rough on her clothes. Anyone else have little girls that are just like crazy and messy and dirty on their clothes? I mean this kid, We'll destroy an outfit, give her an hour, you know? Oh yeah, and also I got a canopy for our yard. I don't know if it's a good one or not. It's actually, um, it's in like a big carrying thing. Um, it has like the poles and it's like a screened in one. So it has like a tarp type material with like, you know, screen in it. Um, and the guy said he thinks it's 10 by 10, which is like not that big, but it'd be nice for him. We're having parties if someone needs a little bit of shade or like if we want to have like the food in there so the bugs don't get on it because it's all screened in. So. I am pulling up to the church now. So I think I'm gonna take my camera in and get some shots of the baby shower. So if I do, they will be inserted right here. Okay, look. Is this not like the creepiest thing you've ever seen? It's an ice cube with like a tiny baby trapped inside. What the heck? That's so funny. It's the game. Guys, this is the easiest flatbread pizza recipe ever, and it's so good. Hi. Grandma got stuck in the vacuum again. That's all that's left of her. Hi, naked boy. That's why it's not setting up anything. Instead, it's spitting out stuff. Probably. If it wasn't spinning right. You're gonna run to me? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Mommy, it's ready like Freddy. <laughs> Go on. Go all the way back there by the door. And run to me, young man. Run like the wind. Run like the wind. One, two, three, go. What'd you do? <laughs> What'd you do? Oh! Is your room clean, little miss? What? Is your room clean? Uh huh. Let's take a look, shall we? What's that in the middle of your floor? Why didn't you put that away? What? It's the cat. No, the vacuum doesn't soak up anything anymore. There must be a hole in the tube or something. But apparently there's something stuck in the hose of our vacuum. I don't know what it is, but if they agree to send us a new one, we're gonna cut it open and see what's inside. That should be fun. We're gonna do like surgery on it. Um, but we're gonna see how good this lifetime warranty is that Shark offers. So let's call. For more information about our Shark products, press one. Shark vacuum, press one. Thank you for calling Shark. My name is Tracy Mann. Kelly, I think there might be something stuck in the hose. Like we tried to like fully extend it and wiggle it and do a couple things, but it's not coming out. I don't know what to do. That is all ordered up for you, Kelly, and that should be to you in the next three to five business days with FedEx. Is that everything that I can help you with today? Oh, perfect. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Thank you for being part of our family. Have a wonderful rest of the day. You too. Bye bye. So that was cool. They're sending us a brand new hose. I'm thinking that there's like a hole in it because it's making like a weird air sound. Oh, it's greatness. He smashed his greatness. Yeah. What? I, no, what? What did you say earlier when he walked out? This is your new son. This is your new daughter. Oh, leave that on! Good new kiss. <laughs> Hi, Robert. You and Say, I don't wear dresses, Gianna. I'm a man. Robert, tell her. Say, I don't wear dresses. I'm a man. I'm a now. All right, say it. Say, I'm a man. 
I'm a mountain. I'm a mountain. I'm a dude. I'm a dude. I'm
Some people try to set themselves free by thinking they are cool enough, strong enough, smart enough, creative enough. But Jesus is the only way to set yourself free from right. sin. When you give your life to him, he sets you free. Is that your new little camping chair? Aren't they adorable? They were only five dollars. Oh my gosh, they're so teeny. Trevor, <laughs> did you have a question about your fidget spinner that's in the mail? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, okay. So look, I gotta get my fidget spinner soon because if Donald Trump builds that wall, my man Donald Trump, he's a smart dude, and he's gonna build that wall. And it's gonna be so high that planes are gonna crash right into it and blow up. I mean, he's gonna build it across the seas. That thing's gonna go all. It's gonna go down sea. under the sea, so even submarines can't get here. Submarines, no. It's gonna, it's gonna get, there's gonna be like fences down there, like not fences, but like big iron bar fences down there. And so, like, gonna, how are the mermaids and stuff gonna cross? Well, I mean, it's gonna have like a gap about that big. Well, maybe they'll just send the little packages from China through them. Well, then they I might mean, find a way. Donald Trump is gonna have to put some stuff in there. Is he gonna personally build it? Yes. With his me, own me, two. Me and him. Me and him. With his own two hands. Me, me and Donald Trump are gonna work on that wall. We're gonna, we're gonna build that wall. It's gonna be so high, planes. It's gonna be so low. The Earth's core is not even gonna get past it. Mm -hmm. I know the lighting out here is terrible, guys, but I'm like trying to edit and trying to watch the kids race around down the basement on their scooter slash bikes, and just wondering why my house is always so messy. This is why we don't have vlogs every day because I literally barely have time to pay. I don't know, I only have three kids. I mean, there's people that have like, um, actually there's this family that I saw the other day and I think I subscribed to them. Um, they have like 23 kids, most of them are foster kids. God bless them, but how do they have time to put, you know, they probably don't edit, I don't know if they edit very much. I only watched their introductory, but introductory video. I didn't watch any of their other videos yet. Goodness gracious, I can barely do anything with three kids. How do people with like four kids, five kids, six, seven, whatever, how do those, these people find time to vlog? Vlogging, yeah, I can do. I can pick up the camera all day long. I love videotaping our life. I do it all the time, regardless if I upload or not. I literally probably have videos of us every day for like the past, since my kids were born. But editing is the part that I have struggled with. And like, I could just put the whole videos up, but my husband's like, oh, well that would be more interesting to watch than the stuff that you put up. And I'm like, really? Like, I'm about to smack him. <laughs> but no, just like the, the raw, like everyday life. And I know some people would like to see that, but it would be really annoying. Like, I mean, the screaming, the 
not well me too but mostly the kids uh, the screaming the crying again mostly the kids but sometimes me just all the craziness I mean pooping on the floor that's only the kids not me stuff like that I just I don't know like mundane things I mean I just record lots of stuff but I'm not gonna put it all up because that'd be crazy I have to learn how to manage my time better and I think if I didn't sleep in so much um I would have more time because I did have a lot more free time when I wasn't sleeping in during the school year but then I started sleeping in for summer vacation because the kids didn't have to get up for school and I got lazy and I just think about how many hours I waste every week sleeping in. So I really want to try to stop sleeping in. That's my goal. Oh yeah. In the morning, Robert has a dentist appointment, which I'm really kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about because he doesn't like going to the dentist at all. If you guys have seen in the vlogs, his, his teeth are pretty bad. And the black that you see on his teeth is actually not decay. It's something called silver diamine fluoride. If I'm pronouncing that right and um, it's actually something to arrest the decay that he already had in his teeth and it turns all active decay black but it stops it basically so if he didn't have that his teeth probably would have like rotted away in a lot of areas already we're probably gonna have to consider surgery which Gianna had when she was about three see he's only two so that's another thing that makes me kind of nervous he's younger than her so he doesn't really understand as much so I will update you guys on that. I'm not going to record inside because one, it's going to be really hard for me just to wrangle him because he's going to be fighting the dentist just to look in his mouth. Two, um, I just feel like that would be really awkward. And three, I'm going to be kind of stressed out. So I'm not even probably going to think to bring my camera. Bye! Live right now on YouTube.